Good morning, you guys. I'm just been quite a while since I've done a video. Um, I've been trying to train my puppy with potty training, which is going fairly well with the exception of the tropical storm that's hindering it. Um, I've been trying to teach him not to eat my yarn projects. Um, this is the first half of week three of the mystery. Um, oh, I ain't got to hold my hook. It's not attached. Um, Afghan along. I did get one done of the second half of week three. The deadline was yesterday. Um, so I'm not trying to do it though to win the prizes or anything like that. I just want to get it done. Um, so I started on the second half of week three out of ten weeks. And this is square one done of I think 40 or 42 of them. Um, it's been kind of hard. With the new puppy. What are you doing? I swear he's like having a child. Do you want to come up here with mommy? Want to come up here with mommy? No? Okay. Quit eating hair, please. Sorry, he likes to eat hair that he finds on the floor randomly. Um. Started off, I would have my yarn like this hanging off of my hook. And he was trying to eat the yarn. So we had to... Oh, I think we've got a visitor. You wanna? Yeah, just a second. Come here, baby. Over here. Climb, climb, climb. Climb up. Keep going. Um, so, the first goal, come here, was teaching him to not eat my yarn. Um, and we've been working on teaching him where he can sit while... Hey, thank you. While I am working on my project so he's not in the way. I know you keep getting a hold of hair. But there he is. He is going on 13 weeks, I believe, now. Um, have not had any progress on my other projects that I was doing. But, you know, kind of can see why between vet appointment training him into vet and stuff as you can see I'm sure you've noticed I'm in a different chair it's not my green one it's a brown one um my husband got tired of seeing me hurt with my hips knees and my back so we bought a um love seat recliner so he and I can sit together with a little console in the middle so we spent not this past weekend but the weekend before that um I spent cleaning and rearranging my living room to move stuff around to accommodate moving the table I had in here for my kids' craft table is no longer my living room. My green chair and my husband's recliner have all been moved. Um, we bought our youngest two bunk beds because our youngest one was on a bed my husband had made and still sleeping on a crib mattress and he was getting too big for that. So I spent the weekend before last in their room rearranging and painting their entire room, Saturday and Sunday, because the furniture showed up on Monday. Um, I've been in my living room. I've got my, my actual love seat in here from the green set. It's still covered with yarn projects and buckets and laundry baskets because I'm trying to figure out how to fix it because where the craft table was is what they were sitting on to keep somebody from eating them. I moved my zebra bench thing that I made over there, and his kennel is over there against the wall, kind of out of the way, because everybody kept smashing into it at the end of the table. So, he's over there now. Yes, I know. I know you're going to kiss him. Thank you. He's a very cute, sweet, lovable, cuddly little puppy. Somebody set off their car alarm. It's okay. Just one of the neighbors. Um, as we can see, my face is starting to break out again. Over the weekend, we were talking about it. My husband wants to try to figure out what I'm eating. Excuse me. What I'm eating that is causing it so that we can cut that out of our diets. Um, he said he doesn't care what it is. Whatever it is, we will cut it out because it's starting to bother me again because I'm breaking out again. Um, I think it's either chocolate or it's greasy food. I'm not quite sure which yet. Still trying to narrow that down a little bit. I'm in case you want, I keep moving you guys so you can see it kind of that bright little light right there. I'm trying to keep it from being massively in the shot so it doesn't blind you guys. You can quit shivering, baby. You're just fine. You're just fine. I got you. I got you. I got you. 
You want to sit on your seat? Mommy, move her bucket. And my thing. Do you want to have that laser over here? You want to sit in your seat? Our center console. It has two cup holders and it has the console part. Sit down. Um, so I can turn you guys right there. Okay, my husband's going to have an air working where he was throwing nails. And then the little console part here. This one has been kind of the neck pillow. But that's become his seat. Um, you stay right there. I just have to watch him because he will try to jump off of the furniture and he's not big enough. Um, he ends up face planting. Um, like I'm sitting in it and I have to like, my knees are hanging over and I have to stretch my toes downward as far as they will just to barely touch the floor. You want to come back? Oh, wait, come here. Um, his favorite thing is sitting on my chest or behind my neck. You want to say hi? <gasps> Where is he? Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. Everybody I've talked to, oh, sorry, has said chihuahuas are actually like always barking and everything else. And I have to say, this little guy, here, let's turn you around. Um, so mommy can hold you easier. Is relatively quiet. He'll bark with you if you get him playing with his toys. He'll whine. Um, during the night, which, no, he needs to have his kennel to go potty. We actually have a big metal, like, pen, like the ones you buy to put outside in the yard for them to play in, but to keep them confined. We have one of those in our dining room. Um, he sits in that when we eat dinner, and that's where he eats his dinner, the way he's contained. And we do have a bed in there for him to lay in. We tried that Saturday night to see if he'd sleep in that bed and the pen so he could get up and go to the far end of it where the potty pad is at and use it himself. But... He whined and complained most of the night. He did not like it. He likes being snuggly, cuddly up in his little kennel, apparently, which is fine. Um, he gets up roughly twice a night. Once, he usually just wants to play, don't you? Don't you see? Once, I just want to play, and one, usually once, he'll go to the bathroom. Um, they say as he gets older, that'll actually calm down. Huh. He's doing pretty good with outside, huh? He finally likes the grass. He loves to be outside now. So we've actually spent quite a bit of time the past week or so outside playing in the yard. Um, because he's been loving to be outside laying down. We actually got to watch a turtle um dig a hole in my yard. And I got to watch her lay her eggs and bury them. Um, I got short videos of her digging the hole and a short video with at least two of the eggs that she was as she was laying them um it'll take roughly two to three months so it'll be probably july to august time frame at least before her eggs hatch and start coming out so i'm going to try to keep an eye out roughly starting mid-july and see if we happen to see the eggs emerge i would love to get a little video of them actually coming out um, and if they do, I can't get a video. Sorry. I want to put them all kind of together and like the little snippets of her digging a hole. It's a few eggs I got to see her drop plus the whole, she, plus them being born. But I don't know yet. She laid six eggs. Um, and from everything I've read so far, it says six to ten is, six is the minimum. Um, ten is typically the highest. Um, so she laid six. So she laid the minimum this time um and then she hauled butt back down to the swamp really big he loves to hide his head right inside of my shirt i, I don't know why um not baby you're just fine he hates to be alone he um he's a big cuddle bug this is how he spends most of his time cuddled up in my arms another reason i'm not getting much done on my project huh that should be hard but he is literally like a baby he loves to be in my arms um I hold him like a baby a lot on his back, with his belly up. Huh, see, so trying to get that belly right there? Try and get that belly right there? That belly, oh, I know you love the belly rubs. You love the belly rubs. Um, sorry. But I haven't gotten much done. Um, for Mother's Day, my kids made me a bunch of stuff at school. My youngest, who's four, his teachers helped him plant a plant. Oh, sorry. Based on rubbing it and smelling my fingers, it smells like either mint or a peppermint plant. It smells really good. It's actually in my windowsill in the kitchen, um, growing. 
and my youngest, next youngest son, his teacher helped him take uh, one of the milk cartons they get for lunch or breakfast and put fake flowers in that and wrap it in tissue paper. And then they made, made little cards and all kinds of drawings and stuff like that. And then my daughter was, was we went to run to get my, my husband's eye appointment done this past Saturday. And she was dead set that mommy had to have some flowers for Mother's Day. So my husband picked out um, a dozen red roses. They're sitting across the room so I can see them. And I can smell them because they're right in my walkway. No matter if I go down the hallway to the bedroom, I can smell them because they're right there. If I go to the kitchen, they're right there at the TV table. No matter where I go, I pass by them. Unless I go around this way out the door. Which I typically do. So, um, easy access to smell them anytime I want. Anytime I want. See, he knows what I was looking at. Um... But yeah, I haven't done much. Um, so, besides trying to teach this one, the next thing to be training him will be when I'm loom knitting, where he can be for that so that he's not getting whacked with a loom. Um, we're not go I'm not going anywhere this week that I'm aware of, hopefully. So, i got lots of cleaning to do. I want to finish rearranging my living room a little bit because there's still some stuff sitting out that's starting to drive me insanely crazy. Um, so, I'm going to get that done. And along with the basic normal housework. And hopefully, I can work on Mystery Afghan and some of my other projects I've got going. And maybe, if I'm lucky, finish something. Um, I think the easiest thing to finish will be the shawl because it's the closest to being completed because I'm halfway back around to being done with it. I don't say I'm close to the halfway decrease point. <laughs> He's laying down now. Um, so hopefully I can get something like that done. I've still got some stuff I need to do in my boys' room. I need If the weather will hurry up and stop and cooperate, I need to get the shelves that go on their walls. I want to get them cleaned up and repainted. Um, because right now they don't match their rooms at all. I want to get them cleaned up and repainted so I can get them up. I need to get some other stuff hung up and on their wall that goes back up. Um, I've got kitchen cabinets. I was, was painting them white, as you guys have seen many a times, the one that's brown with a big white stripe on it. Um, I am actually going to strip them all. The entire bottom of the cabinets are already white. So I've got to restrip all of those. And um, because as I try to clean the white, the paint itself is coming off. Because my kids spill that much on them and it's white so you see it all. So instead I'm going to try to stain them a dark color. But got to wait for the weather to cooperate before I can do any of that either. Um, so I've got lots of things I need to do and want to do. But some of them are weather dependent. And he's now laying down. Take him off the Say hi. Do you see yourself? Who is this little guy? Look. <gasps> Who is he? Can you bark at him? No? You don't care. Um, he doesn't really bark at other dogs. <laughs> so, but that's what I've been up to. Trying to get this little guy into a routine. And... Get things reorganized here. Hopefully we can get back to doing videos more soon. Um, I've got some that I want to get made. I've got to get them done. So hopefully it won't be too long before we can start those. So I hope you guys have been having a great past couple weeks and we look forward to seeing you guys later. Bye.